I use Chad GPT to write this prompt. <laughs> so I use GPT-4 to write the prompt. <laughs> And I did it by, and you can all do this, which is the really, really cool part about this that I'm really excited to share with you today, is you, this is the prompt that you say, I need your help writing a prompt that I can use for a large language model AI to take on the persona of an assistant. My prompt follows a particular pattern, which you can see here. And guess what, guys? Guess what I did? I went to the doc, which you all have access to for free, and I copied it and I pasted it right into here into GPT-4. And then I said, this is the template I use. And an example of this in action is, and then what I did is I already had another prompt for another business that I wrote, which you guys now, guess what? You have access to our main prompt, chat GPT for pest control. So now you have a fully written niche specific prompt that you can give to GPT-4 and you can say, this is the, an example of it in action. And then you can say, I'm working on creating a new prompt. And look, this is all I did. I wrote the first two messages, first message and a half. And then I said, please can, please help me by continuing to write it. And then there you go. Boom. It just completed the entire prompt for me. So that's for that. Now, the next part was for the Q and A, because what's the next part of our settings? We got to put the model, we got to put the temperature, but then we got to put the spreadsheet URL, right? So what I did was I took my own spreadsheet URL that you guys have access to, and I made a copy of this. And then I specified it for pest control. And I literally did these three lines first. I copied those and I put them here into chat GPT. And I said, please provide a set of commonly asked questions and answers that a contact may ask with an appropriate answer for each. The format should follow this. And then I just put the contact assistant thing here. I said, continue creating the top 20. It didn't do well with continuing to use custom values. So it might not do great with that. But in terms of all the other stuff, look, look what it did. What are your working hours? Here's our working hours. And it got this from the prompt. It literally just picked that up from the prompt that I listed above. So not only is it able to understand the format that I need, but it's able to read my prompt above and know that it needs to pull my questions and answers from the prompt above. Uh, how much does it cost? It created an answer for that. That's great. How soon can you send someone over? It did great for that. Like these are all great, 20 great questions. Um, so I just took all of these and I put them right into here and uh, and had it, you know, just set up in there. And then I took that URL and I went here into my knowledge base and I added the URL here and clicked add. What I do to just verify is I always just paste the spreadsheet URL into here just to make sure that the spreadsheet does exist in our knowledge base and this adds the extension to it. And from there, um, I just went straight into testing. So 